What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another video today. Today we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat, the spoiler chat. I wanted to talk about it, I know it's been a couple weeks since it's been out, so hopefully that means you've seen it. If not, that's an official spoiler warning, so be warned. If you haven't seen it, go check it out and come back so we can talk about it and everything. And I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube posting videos, but I finally got a new camera. I think it's awesome and it looks cherry. I hope you guys love it. And I'm going to be posting more videos in the future. So be on the lookout and keep that notification bell. Boom, poke that so you can stay notified anytime I post videos. So let's get down to talking about this new Mortal Kombat movie. Roll it. So now, Mortal Kombat. We're here to talk about it. This was definitely a difficult one for me to rate because there's so many areas where they definitely hit it right on the nose. For sure, it was a great film, but then there was other parts that they definitely missed out on in some areas. So it was it was really hard for me to juggle the rating on this one and really nail it down because, like I said, there was so many things that... I fit and I loved in this movie that I feel fit, but then there are so many things that I think they just got wrong. So let's get down to talking about them. So we'll start with, let's start with the negatives first. Let's get those out of the way and everything just to get it out of the way. So right off the bat, some of the treatment of some of the characters bothered me for sure, like Raiden and Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung is such an epic villain and character in the Mortal Kombat lore, and I feel like in this film, he just didn't have that presence, especially like the first Shang Tsung in the 90s film. Like, I just didn't feel that presence, you know? He didn't feel fearful. His scenes and the line delivery, it just didn't really matter and everything. So that's what kind of sucks is Shang Tsung was just very lackluster wasn't something that i remember in this film like it's not going to be something he's not going to be something you remember after you watch this film for sure and another one is raiden which really sucks because raiden is your you know your elder god the one that champions your heroes and everything and in this film he just is so demeaning the way they wrote his character it's just very bad i think the way he treats the heroes in the film and stuff like that it just it didn't fit for me it just had left a bad taste in my mouth so that really bothered me the treatment of those two characters for sure another thing is cole young I really wanted to give Cole's character a chance for sure. I went in it and I was like, oh, you know, I'm not going to hate on this character. I'm going to give him a chance. But Cole Young, he's definitely a bland B-movie type character. You know, he's not intriguing. He's not going to grab you. And especially when you introduce a new character to the Mortal Kombat world, you want to introduce somebody that could possibly be in future games. You know what I mean? Since we've never seen this guy in a game before, you want him to be awesome. You want his powers to be cool, his background story to be awesome. And in this, he's just like a classic B-movie type martial arts, you know, hero that you really don't care about and everything. So, Cole Young definitely was a lackluster part of this film for sure. <clears throat> Another thing is some of the CGI d didn't really work for me, like Reptile and Goro. I didn't really think they looked that great. The CGI in them was pretty bad and everything. But other than that, like those are pretty much like the negatives. It's, uh, the writing, too, is something that it's not it's not important i didn't think it was going to be that big a deal going into this movie like i wasn't expecting some grade a oscar award-winning writing and all that kind of stuff but it still is it's writing is just not that great doesn't pull you in it's not believable and there's just certain things about this movie if if a film's good enough it shouldn't really you shouldn't really notice the little things and there, there's a couple little things in this movie that i could name off the top of my head that i noticed and if a film's good enough I shouldn't really notice those things. So one of them is when they're in that middle realm world where Shang Tsung can't reach them and Raiden brings them and Jax and they're, they're dividing up the, the villains and Cole's like trying to rally the troops and everything with this speech that you just don't, he's not committed to at all. That Jax character, he comes out and he's like, I'm going to take General Raiko. On no one, no one on God's green earth in this movie said General Raiko's name in front of this man. How the hell did he know his name? Something like that, I shouldn't notice if the film is great. Another thing is one of my favorite characters in this movie, Kung Lao. We'll get to that when we get to the positives and everything and talk about that. But for me, there's this one part when he dies in his death scene. You see his hat 
get sucked into one of Raiden's portals with Liu Kang and Cole, and I was like, who the hell threw his freaking hat in there? Like, Kung Lao didn't even throw his hat. Like, what? What? Last I checked, his hat was still in the, in the, like, just what? You know what I mean? Like, there's little things like that that you shouldn't notice or pay attention to if a film is that great, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, just that kind of stuff. And, like, the music isn't something that grabs you either. I think the music, there's failed attempts at trying to make it nostalgia feel, and it just doesn't hit that right at all. So, you know, those are the negatives for me. But let's get down to talking about the positives of this movie because there are things that I did like about this film. So let's talk about them. So right off the bat, one of the key positives is the treatment of some of the characters. Like there was mistreatment for some, but some of the characters really got their honor and really good portrayals. So Sub-Zero, Bihan, his portrayal of that character in this film was really amazing. Scorpion, Hanzo Asashi is another great portrayal character in this film. The way they look, their fight scenes are really gory, graphic, and everything you want like a Sub-Zero versus Scorpion fight to be on live action screen. Kung Lao is another character that I really enjoyed. I gravitated towards him. I loved his character in the games, and I'm glad they made the character in the movie like that epic and how important he is in the games and the way they talk about him in the Mortal Kombat lore and all that kind of stuff. So that those things really did nail it for me. Kano is another great character, that comical relief, but the actor just sank into this role for sure. And it, like I said, it feels like a real Kano that you would see on live action as you've pictured him in the games and you see him in all that kind of stuff. This is how you would picture him in live action. So I thought that was really great. You know, some of the line deliveries that he had were really epic. Like, especially there's, I think, one scene when Liu Kang, they meet him for the first time and he puts his shoulder on Kung Lao and he's like, you have much to learn. And Kano's like, what the like you know what I mean like you just like the scenes little lines that he delivers he's definitely a scene stealer for sure another great thing in this movie is it's rated R so the gore aspect is definitely there the 90s ones didn't meet that part so this one it kind of has that notch above the 90s ones because it was able to go rated R and really show you you know people getting ripped in half and all that kind of stuff souls getting sucked out and like the way it looks all gruesome so there's a lot of great gore in this film if you're a gore hound you will love that for sure another great aspect i liked in this movie is i think the world and the set designing in this film was still pretty top notch some people talked a little bit of crap about that but i think the set designing in the way it looked it still looked really good like out the outer world or nether world like realm looked different from earth realm and like it wasn't extravagant like crazy you know budget stuff but it still looked different and it had a good feel to it and I think I think it did look lived in and stuff like that so that was kind of cool for sure and like I said the treatment of some of the characters and all that kind of stuff but for me it was definitely a difficult one like I said to rate because there were so many areas where they nailed it and there are so many things they did wrong with the film so for me in my book it's going to get a 6 out of 10 in my book. That's where this Mortal Kombat film is going to sit and everything. So I had a mediocre good time with it. But I just wanted a lot more moments just jumping off of my seat in my chair, screaming at the screen. And I feel like I didn't get a lot of those moments in this film. There, I had a lot more moments watching Godzilla vs. Kong where I was like screaming at the screen, jumping off of my chair or the couch, you know, yelling at the screen when they were fighting. So like I said, this is still a great film that I would recommend, especially if you're a Mortal Kombat fan you're going to want to see it but in my opinion there's two other Mortal Kombat films on this planet that are probably better than this one and that's the original 90s one we won't talk about Annihilation that's like complete garbage but the, the original 90s one and the Mortal Kombat Scorpion's Revenge which was an animated movie that came out about a year and a half ago those two are great really great Mortal Kombat films that I think are better than this movie and everything but I still like I said would recommend checking this one out and everything give it a watch see how you feel about it and let me know in the comment section what you thought of it that would be great I would love to hear from all of you and we're going to be getting a sequel and possibly a third one so we might actually be getting a Mortal Kombat trilogy so hopefully for me, they'll be able to improve on some of the writing, some of the story building, and bring in some other awesome characters from the Mortal Kombat world. Thanks for sticking around with me, guys. I hope you liked this spoiler chat for Mortal Kombat. Like I said, hit me up in the comments section so you, I can know what you guys thought of the film. I would definitely appreciate that and leave a like. That definitely helps out the channel for sure. And keep that notification bell on so you can stay up to date 
on all the content that I post. Like I said, I have a new camera, so I should be posting videos more regularly now. So have a safe and happy day, guys. Peace out.